Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review along with lip swatches of the brand new Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip Lipsticks. So these came out mm, a while ago now, a little while ago. I actually got these when they first launched and I picked up about six of them. I actually wanted more. Uh, but I wasn't too sure how they were going to kind of show up, whether they were going to be that good. And because they only cost $6, I was like, alright, so I'm going to order a couple of the ones I want. Unfortunately, one of the ones I wanted called Dopey got out of stock like straight away. I'm assuming that was obviously the most popular one. But these are following on from the Ultra matte liquid lipsticks by Colourpop which are also retailing at the same price of six dollars so really really affordable. Colourpop is a US based uh, cult beauty brand they've not been a lot around that long coming up to I'd say about two years now they have really affordable makeup I order them direct from Colourpop using a forwarding company called My More Box, who I will link below as well as link the video below showing how I order from them. So if you've got any questions, please refer to that video first because that's the whole purpose of me doing that video for you guys in the first place. The Ultra Satin Lips. Now, the whole purpose of these, and I'm going obviously by assumption, by research from what I've heard from other people as well, is that these are the more comfortable version of a liquid lipstick so they aren't matte they give a slight gloss to the lips uh, and that is why they're called satin and they are very very long wearing very very long lasting however they are very very transfer proof just like a normal lipstick would be but the amazing thing about these is that as much as you apply it on your lips and it transfers onto your mug as you drink through during the day, you eat food, it comes off. The colour still remains really, really strong and vibrant. I actually love these so much more than the ultra matte liquid lipsticks. And not just from Colourpop, in the whole liquid lipstick dynasty, I love these so, so, so much. I really hope that Colourpop come out with a lot more versions of these. I find them really, really comfortable. For those of you out there that hate wearing liquid lipsticks, now I know there are loads of you. You've told me yourselves, I don't like them. I find them uncomfortable. They flake, they crack, they just don't feel great. These are the kind of lipsticks that you want. They are really, really comfortable on the lips. You can apply as many layers as you want and you won't get that whole really uncomfortable feeling. They are very sticky. That's the only thing. When you clamp your lips together, they are sticky. However, when you do that with liquid lipsticks, if you go like that, you will more likely leave a line on your lips where the lipstick may have transferred. And then that is why it's not always so great with liquid lipsticks to smush your lips together. Whereas with these ones, it's not a problem. You can touch them out throughout. You can touch them up throughout the day and nobody would be able to tell any difference. Whereas if you were to touch up a liquid lipstick, you would be able to tell the area which had faded as opposed to the area which is new. And layer upon layer upon layer of liquid lipsticks makes your lips more uncomfortable, makes them more kind of smooshed together and get that really gross kind of feeling that you've had your makeup on for too long so overall I would give these a 10 out of 10 I think that they are really really good I'm really happy that I got these so I'm going to do some lip swatches for you of the ones that I bought I am going to get more of these I picked up some for my manager as well as my best friend they got different colors and seeing it on them and I was like okay so I'm going to have to get them for myself. The colour range is really, really good. At the moment, I think they've got something about 10, 12 shades. But I'm guessing they're going to expand depending on how, obviously, how popular these are. I personally, I'm going to go out and buy all of them. What I love especially about these is now that I've seen how they sit on the lips, they don't settle into the lines like matte liquid lipsticks do. So I am very happy to go out and buy every single nude version of these that there are available. As you guys know, I tend to stay away from nude lip liquid lipsticks because they're the ones that straight away start to feather, sit within the lines of your lips, accentuating the lines of your lips and making them look really old and kind of dry. And you don't get that with these. And as much as they transfer off onto random things during the day, the colour's still there. It's like, it's like it's never ending on your lips. As much as you've applied layer upon layer of it and it's transferred onto this, that and the other, there's still lipstick there at the end of the day and it lasts throughout the whole day, upwards of 12 hours and still looks stunning. You don't get that 
wearing a way bit in the middle that you do with liquid lipsticks especially because of the moist like the kind of consistency of it so in that respect this is why i think that these are a lot better than liquid lipsticks if it, the whole transferring doesn't really bother you you will really love these it's designed in exactly the same style and tube as the normal liquid lipsticks and has a standard doe foot applicator making application really really easy some of these have come with corresponding lip pencils which is great but not all of them have so i've got a couple of the lip pencils now i personally don't tend to use lip liners with uh, liquid lipsticks mostly because i find the liquid lipstick just literally goes over the lip liner and then the lip liner is kind of redundant it's like what was the point putting it on it doesn't blend in with the liquid lipstick unless you actually use a brush to blend it in to create an almost ombre effect with these ones i find that the lip liner actually makes application a lot more easier i mean not to say that you don't get a, an even application with using these on their own because they don't bleed and they don't feather and um but what I find is that when I put the lip liner on and then I apply this over the top, it blends in with it. So you can see that you've got that crisp edge of a lip liner underneath. So overall, I would recommend these highly. I'm going to stop talking now. If you've got any more questions or anything like that, feel free to let me know below. I'm going to now wipe this off. This is uh, Max dangerously red from the Zach Posen collection. It's just a normal lipstick. And you can remove... With liquid lipsticks, you have to use something oil-based to remove them. I use any old regular face wipe and these come off quite easily and it doesn't really leave a stain on me. So the first shade I'm going to show you is called Lion King. Not Lion King, Lying, as in you're a liar. And this one has a corresponding lippy pencil as well. Some of the ones I'll show you will have lip pencil, some of them won't. You'll just see them as I go along. So this one is probably one of my favorites out of all of them actually you know what i generally i actually quite like all of them So this is Lion King. This is a beautiful raspberry shade. I absolutely love it. It's starting to get sticky now. It takes about 10 to 20 seconds for it to start drying down and getting sticky. Like I said, it doesn't dry down to a matte finish. It is a satin finish looking lipstick. So you will get a slight bit of sheen and the stickiness has started. But like I said, there is no lines left above and below as you get with some lipsticks that can be quite sticky. And the consistency itself of each of these is mid-consistency. It's not too runny and it's not too thick. So it's easy to move around and manipulate. And as you saw, this was just one layer that I applied. Now, if I wasn't necessarily happy with the amount that had come out on the um, applicator and whatnot, I could go back in and put on more and it would still feel as comfortable as it did with just one layer. This next shade is called a Frick and Frack which you would have seen me using in my makeup tutorial where I put on the, or I did the, with the, I'm sorry, I've got Vaseline stuck on my fingers, I'm distracted. I wore this in the Manny MUA Spotlight Makeup Eye tutorial. So you would already see me using this. So this is Frick and Frack. It's a beautiful rosy brown shade. Perfect for everybody from fair, medium to dark. It will look different on different skin tones as is with all lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. So yeah, I absolutely love this warm toned lipstick. It's gorgeous. And I love Colourpop's uh, lippy pencils as well. They're really, really, really creamy. So even once you apply them, you can easily go smush your lips together and you can blend it out before you apply any lipstick making the lipstick blend into the lip liner a lot more easily 
this next shade is called London Fog. Again, I absolutely love this. As somebody who's from London, I don't understand the name because we don't get lots of fog. Like, we get fog like every other country does, like twice a year. So, what's with the London Fog name? And then it's this colour. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. So this is London Fog and the same way you saw me smush my lips together while I'm applying it, it's so creamy that you can easily do that. So if there are any places that you feel that you've missed or there is a lighter application in that area, you can easily smush your lips together to disperse it nicely and evenly so that the lipstick is nice and even across your lips. I really love this shade. This is a gorgeous kind of blue toned, very cool kind of red. This next shade is called Tulips. So this is Tulips, it's a gorgeous plummy brown shade, definitely more plum in it. I think this isn't the kind of colour that everybody may go for, but on me, I think it looks really, really good. Maybe not with this necessarily, this makeup look. I think when I did wear it, I was wearing something quite cool toned. And if you've got darker skin, it will show up a little bit more brown on your lips, I would say, because my friend also has it and she is... Um, from the Caribbean. So the next two I'm going to show you now don't have corresponding lip liners with them but it's fine you don't necessarily need the lip liners. These work well very easily um, and neatly. This next shade is called Panda. So this is a Panda, this is a beautiful pink based violet shade, again wearable across the board whether you are fair, medium or dark, it's just down to what your preference is. But I personally love this shade as well. So the final shade that I'm going to show you is called The Rabbit, which is thankful for me because my lips are so stained now and they're actually stained kind of pink, which is lucky because this is a bright fuchsia shade. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue-based fuchsia pink. It's gorgeous. I love it. So that is it. That is how many did I show you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Six. Six of the new ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Lipsticks. Not really sure what else I can say. They're excellent. I love them. I give them a 10 out of 10. I'm going to get more. When Dopey comes back into stock, I will definitely order the rest of them. I'm going to try out the nude ones. I'm really looking forward to finally being able to use a nude lipstick, which is similar to a liquid to matte lip liquid lipstick, but that doesn't show up all the lines on the lips and actually works comfortably and wears well throughout the day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've got any questions below. Other than that, I hope you're all great. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and that your spring has started off beautifully. In London, it has started off in typical fashion with sun followed by torrential rains, followed by sun, followed by more torrential rain. Confusing. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.